some people just make you happy to be around them. And Brenda Davis brings us a smile every time she's here from Chattanooga Wine and Spirits. I mean that very sincerely. I, and I love to be here, Julie. I look forward to this every month. I think maybe we connect so much because you do love what you do. So today we're getting ready for Father's Day. Yes. And you know that every dad is different. They have their own personal style and taste, quite literally. Yes. You've got something for everybody. Yes. Julie, today I brought one of my favorite wines. This is from the Camus Family Vineyard. It's a California wine. It's a red blend. Mm -hmm. It's called the Walking Fool. Absolutely The Walking lovely. Fool. I it's like that. Fantastic red wine. Okay. This is a little interesting. For those dads that love to grill and love to marinate and, and baste pork and, and those kind of things, mm -hmm. this is a barbecue flavored whiskey. Oh, our coworker Jason was just talking about that. It must yes. smell really good. It's amazing. Uh, and it's fantastic. Also in a Bloody Mary, which oh. my dad's favorite, he loved Bloody Marys. Okay, so you're saying if you're, because my husband loves Bloody Marys yes. too. So if you wanted to do that, you could get all three of these. Yeah, and do a little shot of that barbecue flavored whiskey. It, it's Love fantastic, it. absolutely. What is this that you have? Is this, is this what this one. is? It is. So if I opened it, would I smell it? Yes. But then I would ruin it for you, wouldn't no, I? No, it's okay. Okay. Jason's already opened Okay, it. I thought. Oh my word. Yeah, got a little, little kick to that it. That is so cool. Yeah, I used this actually in my baked beans for Thanksgiving. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna, it's like at the perfume counter at the mall. <laughs> okay. Just dab it on. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what is this? This is what, uh, this is a moonshine sipping cream. I don't know too many dads and grandpas who don't like butter pecan flavored things. Yeah. You can put this in iced coffee. You can sip it. You can put it over ice cream at night. Um, this is a Highland Scotch sipping cream. Absolutely amazing. Again, really? just, you can add a little bit of scotch to it. You can just enjoy it. You know, and that when you get these, uh, there's no shelf life really on them, is there's, there, Brenda? There's no shelf life. You want to keep it refrigerated, I think, just for, for taste. Okay. Um, maybe 30 days, but as far as them sitting on the shelf, absolutely unopened. They, they last for a while. I think that the marketing is so much fun. The last time you were here, it was Mother's Day, and you had brought those mom waters, mm -hmm. among other things. And I did love the can, There was because they were personalized. One of them said, Julie, um, I'd buy it for the can every day of the week. I, I walk by them every day and think of you. Yeah, so I love, I love the beer here. So this is not your father's root beer. This is a malt beverage, which is a root beer flavored adult beverage, 5.9% um, alcohol, excellent for dads who okay. want a little different. And speaking of beer, Julie, I started counting the beers at Chattanooga Wine and Spirit. I stopped at 200. You're we kidding. We have over 200 different beers on the show. Wow. Regional beers, international beers. And, and I'm gonna go back to how you love what you do because you know your inventory. And when people come in, it really, unless you just are a routine shopper and you know the aisle to go to, talk to Brenda Absolutely. and her staff because they'll yeah. point you in the right direction. Absolutely. In fact, when you're talking about the alcohol content, that's an important thing sometimes to discuss too, right? It is. Absolutely. Not everyone wants a high alcohol uh, uh, content, content yeah. beer or sometimes we like just a little simple seltzer. Yeah. These Happy Dads are awesome for the cooler, for the boat, by the pool, but after, after we cut grass really popular. <laughs> uh, my middle brother, Tim, I had called him one day and he said, hey, little sister. I said, hey. And he said, listen, I don't want to be rude, but can I call you back in about 15 minutes? If I stay on the phone, you're going to kill my, at my after the lawn mowing beer. beer. <laughs> and I said, sure. We hung up right away. <laughs> call me when you're done. That's right. Okay. What is this? These are all of our store pick bourbons. Mine is the Chattanooga wine and uh, Chattanooga whiskey, but Old Elk, Woodford Reserve, Old Kirk, the Jefferson Reserve, these are all specialty picked bourbons for our store. We have bought the barrel and these are all just for our store. So. so when you're picking those, if you're going to buy the barrel, you know what people around here want too, right? You're, you've tested it to Absolutely. know the market. Absolutely. And these are just top shelf, excellent, excellent bourbon. So if people do come in um, and they want to ask you, okay, Brenda, I'm gonna get this, but then how else can I use it? Do you help them with cocktail suggestions? Absolutely. Uh, most bourbon drinkers really like to drink them neat, but as far as making great cocktails, we have tons of recipes. That just sounds so sophisticated. I want my bourbon neat, right? That sounds like Neat you're... on the rocks. Yeah. What does that fashion? mean to be neat? Like just plain just with plain. no ice? Just plain no ice. Okay. See, I learned. It, there's a whole whole mouthfeel to the different bourbons. Yeah. You should come in sometime and we'll do a bourbon tasting. That would be fun. It'd be tons of fun. Yeah. These little guys here, 
for dads that like to golf. Mm -hmm. Throw these in the golf bag. <gasps> Fantastic for the golf course. Oh, what are they? They are, there's old fashions. Um, they kind of pack a punch too. Uh, there's a, a gin giblet. There's different kinds of cocktails. Ooh. Ooh, okay, you're giving me ideas. Tons My husband loves to golf. Okay, now you're pouring me something. I'm what are pouring, you pouring you the oh, this is old the, smoky. This? Mm -hmm. This Moonshine is the butter pecan? Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, cheers. cheers. It looks like Bailey's kind of. Is it that consistency? Mm hmm. Mmm, yummy. Oh, that's so good. Can that's you imagine like dessert. this ice cream or an, or an iced coffee? You know, in the wintertime, um, you're kind of what you enjoy drinking can shift with mm -hmm. the season, right? Mm -hmm. If it's hot outside, you want something sure. a little bit different. But sometimes it's just nice to have something. Just a little sip. A little sip. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is yummy. If you don't like think you milk. like butter pecan, you're going to like this. And then this one, I know we're not going to open it, but this is a similar idea, but it's just scotch. That's malted scotch. It's fantastic. Oh. He's got a cute little golf hat on. So Father's Day is coming. He does have a cute little golf hat coming on. Um, so Father's Day is coming up. If you want to give your dad something special for him and you don't quite know what he would like, come and talk with Brenda and her team and just talk about what he enjoys doing, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of trends you kind of notice in him. Mm -hmm. She'll point you in the right direction. Of course, we always want to encourage you to be responsible when you drink. Don't drink and drive, um, but you can certainly golf and have a little something. Absolutely. Thanks. I can talk Thanks. and have a little something. Thank you. Absolutely. Shattered Eagle Wine and Spirits on Shallowford Road. Their phone number 803-0404. And this is called a Butter Pecan Moonshine. Is that right? Sipping cream. Mm -hmm. Sipping cream. Sip away. Thank Sip you. Sip away. Thank you.